Promo Cat here with a look at the next episode of the Friday Zone. We will always be able to share the poetry of EAP. Thank you, Peggy. Little Eva Green is lost, but she's on the phone now. We can communicate. Don't worry, Sammy. We'll find her. So check out the next episode of The Friday Zone. Right meow. Production support for The Friday Zone is provided by... The WTIU Children's Programming Endowment. Ensuring quality children's programming for future generations of Hoosiers. Learn more at indianapublicmedia.org slash kidsfund. The IU School of Education, dedicated to improving, teaching, and learning in a diverse and rapidly changing world. More at education.indiana.edu. Smithville Fiber, the Gigacity Company, a philanthropic community partner since 1922, and proud supporter of numerous community organizations. More information at smithville.com. WFYI Public Media, inspiring Indiana with high quality educational content since 1970. By sharing stories and connecting people, WFYI inspires the best in our community. And these Indiana Public Television stations. Thank you. Today's show has us going places, Cass. Is that why we're driving in a convertible? Yup. Or maybe we're on a boat. Whoa! Or a snowmobile. Oh, yeah! <laughs> or an airplane. <laughs> Ethan, I didn't know you knew how to fly a plane. Oh, I don't. Oh, no, 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 no. Friday. The week is done and it's time for fun. There's room for everyone in the Friday zone. So much to see. Welcome to the Friday Zone, everyone. I'm Cassia. And I'm Ethan. I hope you've got your dancing shoes on today, Cass. Yeah, we've got a dance class coming up. We'll learn some new steps. But first, a song on, on the, the Friday, Friday Zone, Zone playlist. playlist. T-A-C-O, we'll do it on a T. 
Captain, what are we doing today? I'm going to teach you about how important it is to floss your teeth. Oh, floss. But Felix doesn't have teeth. I know, but all your viewers do. They want to know oh, how. Yeah. All of you guys have teeth, and you will learn how to floss, and we will teach you. All right. Well, you know how important brushing is to get all the plaque off your teeth? Yes, 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 yes. Well, when you eat all those sugary foods, they also go in between your teeth. Oh. And brushing's not going to reach in between your teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to use some floss. Oh, okay. And you're going to get in between them. And you can use this kind of floss that uh -huh. a lot of times adults use. Okay, okay. And if little kids a lot of times have harder time uh -huh. doing that. So they can use flossers. Oh, and look they can at just, that. They just go in between each one of your teeth. Oh, that's like a mini toothbrush. <laughs> it is like a mini toothbrush for in between each one of your teeth. Yeah, that's really cool. And when you do it, you have to get a really long piece of floss. Oh, okay, okay. Because you don't want to use the same spot over and over again. Oh, wh why is that? Because the plaque is going to build up on the one spot that you use over oh, again. Oh, and you don't want to put more plaque on other teeth. Exactly. Okay, okay. And it's really important to know that even if you have a space next to your teeth, like if uh -huh. one of you guys lose one of your teeth, you still want to go next to that tooth. Oh. And you want to go to the very back of your teeth, too. Okay, okay. That way you get all the spots that you think you would miss with a toothbrush. So you don't pick one or the other. You do both. You want to do both. Okay. It's really important. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. You're now welcome. we know how to floss our <laughs> teeth. Eli is here to show us how to make flowers out of cupcake liners. We're going to need large cupcake liners, small cupcake liners, green popsicle sticks, green construction paper, markers, some glue, and a pair of scissors. First, Fold a large cupcake liner in half four times. With a pair of scissors, carefully cut a curve into the folded up cupcake liner. When you unfold your cupcake liner, it will have eight petals. Do the same to a smaller cupcake liner, folding it in half four times and cutting a small curve to make petals. Glue your two cupcake liners together and draw a dot in the middle. Next, use your scissors to cut leaves from the green construction paper. Now, Put it all together. Glue your flower to the top of the green popsicle stick and the leaves to the bottom. Repeat this process using different colors and you'll have a whole garden worth of cupcake liner flowers in no time. In the Friday's home Friday. Hi guys, today we're here with our friends Stephanie, Maddie, Evan, and Tiffany and they're gonna tell us a little bit about the uh, Indiana Dance Company. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what that is? Yeah, my name is Stephanie, and I'm one of the co-owners and directors of Indiana Dance Company located right here in Bloomington, Indiana. That's awesome. And Maddie, we're going to learn a little bit about clogging today. Can you explain what clogging is? Yes, um, clogging is a percussive style of dance. It's a lot like tap dancing, except we have a double tap on our shoes instead of a single tap. So we make a lot of noise with our feet. <laughs> <laughs> and we've actually just visited you guys, and we have some video of that. Mm -hmm. So let's check it out. Let's see our visit. Okay, so here we are in the Indiana Dance Company. Yes, the entrance to the studio. <laughs> You, looks oh, like you guys have a lot of trophies. Yeah. And you went to London? Yes, we actually participated in the 2019 New Year's Day Parade in London. That oh, is so incredible. Cool. And to bring, how many kids were you able to bring on that trip? We actually only brought five kids on that trip. It was a very expensive trip, yeah. but all of our kids were invited to participate. That's wow. incredible. But there were over 92 cloggers total in the parade. Wow. So did you have to compete to get there? To um, it was competition teams all over the nation um, came together and formed one giant team really? to perform. Oh, oh that so is fun. incredible. And it looks like we have some clogging going on right now. It looks like very high knees and a lot of energy. Yes, ma'am. This is our youngest group. These are the supernovas. They range in age, in age from five to, I think, ten is our oldest. Oh, wow. Oh, and very, very good arms. arms. Very good and arms. Yeah. What's a little bit of the difference between clogging and tap? Like, like style wise. So tap you're a lot looser with your arms and clogging we do more precise arm movements they're either down to your sides or usually we incorporate some type of jazz and hip hop into our choreography. All right. Oh, and I, oh look at they're like battling each other. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we have to make up games to get them to have more fun at yeah. practice. <laughs> and, and, and your guys 
choices? Is, it a, is, it a, is there a style of music that you use or do you? So there's two different styles of clogging. There's contemporary and traditional clogging. We do a little of both. We do more contemporary than traditional, but typically with contemporary, we'll dance to more modern, upbeat music, and traditional is more bluegrass. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Cool. And I wish I could see some clogging. Yeah. And you know what? I think we actually have some special guests here to show us a little bit of clogging. Do we? I think we do. Come on in, guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh! We yay. have the supernovas! Yay. And I think we have some music, so if we can hit it! from a winner of the WTIU Kids Writers Contest. I came into this world broken and blue, with oxygen and meds, then lifeline too. My doctor ran test after test, hoping for answers to know what's best. They told my mom how fragile my life would be, but my mom knew CHD wouldn't stop me. You see, my chest has battle scars for all to see. I fight with every heartbeat that's just me. I was born a warrior with only half a heart. I now raise awareness and do my part. My hospital and doctors are the best. They keep my heart beating inside my chest. How would you like to see something you wrote on the Friday Zone? It's easy. Just enter the WTIU Kids Writers Contest. Ask your teacher how to enter or request an entry form from WTIU at indiana.edu. Welcome back. So uh, Maddie is going to teach us a few clogging steps. So Maddie, take it away. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to learn the basic step in clogging. So it has two parts. The first part is a double step. So we're just going to pick up our foot behind us like this and kick it forward like you're kicking a ball and then you're going to slap it back and then step down on it. So that's Ooh. called a double step. So it goes forward, back, down. That's double step. So we can say double step. So you, look, you guys are really good at it. <laughs> double step. And you can also do it on your right foot. Double step. Good. And then the second part is a rock step. So after we do double step, we take our foot behind us like this and we put it on the ball of our foot so there's like a bend in your shoe and you're going to just pick up your front foot so it's like a teeter-totter rocks back and forth uh -huh. so that's a rock step so we do a double step first it goes forward back down and then we do rock step and then the foot that's up does the next double step ah. so it goes double step and then this foot rock step and then you just keep going you can do basics forever <laughs> double <laughs> step Rock step and then double step. Rock step, double step. Rock step, double step. Rock step. And then we have another step. It's called the triple, and it has three double steps and then a rock step. So we do three double steps starting with our left foot. Double step, and then switch. Double step, another double step. Double step, and then we rock step. Rock step, and then you can do another triple. Double step, double step, double step, rock step. I don't believe you guys have never clogged before. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're, we're getting it done pretty fast, yeah, no, I do have to say. Thank you, yeah, and great I think teacher. we have some music too, right? Yeah, we can try so with the music. Practice it with the music. How about that, guys? Yeah! yeah. Okay. 
Oh, I guess we don't even know there. We'll just go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do some basics first. We're gonna do four basics. Ready? Five, six. Ready, really slow. Do double step, rock step, double step, rock step, double step, rock step. Last one. Good. We can try our triple, three double. Double one, double two, double three, rock step. Double one, double two, double three, rock step. Not cool. That was so, that was awesome. so awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for teaching us that. Yes. Do you guys have any other special moves you guys like to show off or anything? Um, we can show you some triple doubles if you'd like. Um, Let's see oh, it. Please, yeah. do it. Five, six, ready, go. Oh my gosh. That was, a big, was that was a big step up from what we were just yeah, doing. Yeah, it's a little bit harder. Wow. <laughs> so, well, thank you guys so much, and we will be right back. It's okay, Zarg. I know you can hear me. You don't have to be embarrassed or afraid. I won't make fun of you. Just listen and come out when you're ready. The City by the Sea by E A P. Lo, death has reared himself a throne in a strange city lying alone. Far down within the dim west, where the good and the bad and the worst and the best have gone to their eternal rest. There, shrines and palaces and towers, time-eaten towers that tremble not, resemble nothing that is ours, around by lifting winds forgot. Resignedly beneath the sky, the melancholy waters lie. Why does death live in the sea? I don't think he does. Uh, but the Dark Lord said... E.A.P. was being poetic. Oh. Why don't you come and join me? You don't have to be embarrassed. I'll read to you. Uh, I don't know. Fine. Just listen to the words. No rays from the holy heaven come down on the long nighttime of that town. But light from out the lurid sea streams up the turrets silently. Gleams up the pinnacles far and free. Up domes, up spires, up kingly halls, up fanes, up Babylon like walls. Up shadowy, long forgotten bowers of sculpted ivy and stone flowers. Upon many and many a marvelous shrine whose wreathed friezes intertwine the vial, the violet, and the vine. Resignedly beneath the sky, the melancholy waters lie. So blend the turrets and shadows there, that all seem pendulous in the air. While from a proud tower in the town, death looks gigantically down. Zarg feels very small. I, not knowing how to read. It's okay, Zarg. It's okay. I don't think less of you. You don't? No. Of course not, silly. But Peggy Girlchild is so smart and reads a lot. That will not change our friendship. Mm -hmm. Besides, we will always be able to share the poetry of E.A.P. Thank you, Peggy. Would you like me to read you some more? Uh, Yes, please. <laughs> there, open fanes and gaping graves yawn level with the luminous waves, but not the riches there that lie in each idol's diamond eye, not the gaily jewel of dead tempt the waters from their bed. <laughs> Quick, 
I need your help. What's the rush, Sammy? My pal, little Eva Green, is lost, but she's on the phone now. We can communicate. Don't worry, Sammy. We'll find her using trilateration. Uh, B, I don't have time for your fancy science words today. This is time sensitive. Trilateration, using three areas to find a specific point. It's what phone towers do to find your phone's location. Only this time, we're doing it with Eva's clues. <clears throat> Eva, describe your location. Okay, she sees, she sees three road signs. One says Mitchell, 10 miles away. One, another says Washington, 20 miles away. And another says Worthington, 30 miles away. Okay, let's get a map out. So here is Mitchell. We will take our compass, measure out 10 miles, and draw a circle around Mitchell. Oh, okay, I see. Great. Right now, she could be anywhere around this circle, but she gave us more clues. Washington is 20 miles away, so we'll draw a circle 20 miles wide. See, they're starting to connect. Lastly, Worthington is 30 miles away, so we'll draw a circle 30 miles wide. Look, all three circles will inter intersect here at the park. Yes, Sammy, that's where she's at. Go get her. Thanks, B. I'm on my way, Eva. Thanks to you all for helping us solve the case. See you next time. Hello, don't be scared. I'm a spider, but I won't hurt you. Being afraid of spiders is called arachnophobia. Today on All About Animals, we're going to talk about me, about the fascinating but lovable spider. So welcome to All About Animals. <laughs> Do you know that there are about 40,000 different kinds of spiders? We are found all over the world except Antarctica. I wonder if Antarctica has ants. I do not know much about Antarctica because I have no relatives there. Hi, my name is Isaac. What's yours? You can call me Inky Dinky. What kind of name is that? Shakespeare was right. What's in a name? I never heard of this Shakespeare guy, but do you know Spider-Man? I wish. Spider-Man is pretty cool, but then again, so are spiders. Do you know we aren't insects? I think my sister is an insect because she's always bugging me. Well, Isaac, spiders are arachnids, so we're related to scorpions, ticks, and mites. Our anatomy is much different from insects. For example, our bodies are divided into two sections, while insects have three. Spiders also have eight legs, while insects only have six. Interesting. So what's the deal with cobwebs? Abandoned spider webs are called cobwebs, but not all spiders spin webs. The web is made out of silk, which is used to capture prey. Do you know what recycling means? Of course. It means reuse. Some spiders take their old webs and roll it into a ball and eat it. Gross. Not if you're a spider. So what's the deal about tarantulas? Man, they look scary. Tarantulas get a bad rap. They live in burrows or holes in the ground. They protect themselves by shooting hairs or needles from their tummy. What about their stinger? The sting of a tarantula is about as harmful as a bee. They rarely bite people and make excellent pets. I had no idea. I might have to get a tarantula as a pet. Before you do, go to the library and read up about having any kind of pet, whether it's a dog, fish, bird, snake, or even a spider. It was nice meeting you, spider dude. It was nice meeting you too, Isaac. I'm a spider, and we'll see you next time on All About Animals. In the Friday Zone. Friday. Hey guys, we're back with Stephanie and the Supernovas. And I've just got a quick question, all right? What is your favorite thing about clogging? <laughs> 
How about you, Kendall? My favorite thing is that you almost get exercise in it. You would get so much exercise from doing clogging. And how about you, Kaylin? It's fun and exciting. It is so fun and exciting. And Marley, what's your favorite thing about clogging? That we move our feet a lot. You move your feet so much, all the time. Well, thank you guys so much for being here, and thank you guys for joining us on the Friday Zone. Remember to visit our website, fridayzone.org, to watch past episodes, play games, and see behind-the-scenes photos. And remember to live, learn, and play the, the Friday Zone way. And here's a little dance from the advanced group of cloggers. Hit it, guys! Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by the WTIU Children's Programming Endowment, ensuring quality children's programming for future generations of Hoosiers. Learn more at indianapublicmedia.org slash kidsfund. The IU School of Education, dedicated to improving, teaching, and learning in a diverse and rapidly changing world. More at education.indiana.edu. Smithville Fiber, the Gigacity Company a philanthropic community partner since 1922 and proud supporter of numerous community organizations. More information at smithville.com. WFYI Public Media, inspiring Indiana with high quality educational content since 1970. By sharing stories and connecting people, WFYI inspires the best in our community. And these Indiana Public Television stations. Thank you. Teachers, do you want your kids to learn more possum stuff from the Friday Zone? Well, now they can. We have a complete curriculum guide based on segments from the show. Each lesson plan follows the Indiana standards of learning. Request a free copy on our website, fridayzone.org, right now.